Well, the other day, um, when I was down at the Villa Marina and we were talking about all things to do with cyber security, I was talking here with Sarah and I said, oh, we must talk more about what you do. So thank you for coming in today. Um, it's getting into the digital world. Explain exactly, you come under D DFE, isn't it? That's right. That's right. We're the Digital Isle of Man Agency in the right. Department for Enterprise. So what do you do? Well, that's a really good question. <laughs> the, the role of the agency is to help digital businesses grow and flourish. Um, and one of the common um, issues that has, has been cited recently is a lack of digital skills um, and a difficulty in recruiting people. So that's kind of what, why I was there talking yeah, about the no, course. You, you, you surprised me straight away because I assume that everyone's brought up on all these sort of things these days. Therefore, they're equipped for the world, but not necessarily. That's, that's very true. I mean, obviously, young people these days are brought up with, with technology, but not necessarily how to use it in a vocational sense. Um, and also people, even if you've been using computers for years, Microsoft Office changes, as you know, all the time. And <laughs> do you get a new training course every time that, that happens? You know, not necessarily. So you can step in and you put on these courses? Yes, so we were really pleased that the Economic Recovery Group decided to fund um, th this idea that we had for digital literacy training. So we've um, developed a programme in conjunction with a local business called ReadyNES, which is online training, which takes you right from the beginning, even if you've got no experience in using computers, right through to quite advanced use of the Microsoft Office applications. So there's different levels for different people, or is it all one course, or how, how does it all work? There's two different learning paths, and mm. they're split really nicely into modules, really short videos, so you can you can watch and learn how, how to use certain aspects of, of a programme. Oh, right, so you do this at home or in a, off, you know, in a building, or how do you do it? So it's online, you can do it wherever you ah, like, um, and, and if you don't have access to a computer, please let us know, because we would like to help that and be as inclusive as possible, possible as well. Yeah. You know, maybe have them in libraries and community centres, but for now, obviously, people will be watching this online, so... Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope so, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so they should be able to access it. I mean, how much of a problem is there here, do you think, on this thing? Um, well, it, I think it's something that's difficult to quantify, and that's part of what we're trying to achieve with this, is to understand what the demand is. Mm. Um, and part of it is as well that you can assess your own levels. So you might think that you've got a certain level of digital skill, but mm. you know, obviously having that tested, so there are little exams through this. And mm. if you go through all the programme, you get a certificate as well, which will be good for your CV. And what support can you give people while they're doing this? Is it interaction you can chit-chat back and forwards, or is it just following this, this course? The course itself um, is, yes, you watch a video and yeah. then you take an exam. Um, and As I said, it's split through lots of different yeah. modules so you can take your time. But there is the ability to chat um, with, with the readiness um, training providers. Um, and also you can, uh, you can obviously ask, ask me if you want any help. Um, you know, we want to make ourselves available for people that, that maybe need a bit more support. And do you get a certificate or something for this? You do, you absolutely do. And you know, it's, in total, it can be ab about 11 hours worth of training. Um, you, know, you might not want to do it all, you might want to skip the bits if you're already competent at a certain thing but yes if you complete the whole program you get a certificate so you've got this entry level and you've got the more technical side of things that's right and is it is it for people who haven't got much computer skills at all i mean obviously the older people we always think of maybe less equipped but in fact we find that they watch the videos now more and more so is it broad range of people that might be interested yeah. in this we really do think it's aimed at anybody and you know i've seen that already in the initial flurry of sign-ups that we had and um, we've had every single demographic um, interested but we were really keen to make sure we gave support to people maybe who've not been in work for a while mm -hmm. maybe you've been caring uh, parental responsibilities and you're looking to get back in maybe your confidence um, isn't as high as it could be and um, also people coming out of school you know have they used um, certain applications Mm. In, in the way you might need to in an office environment, you can test that and then prove to an employer that you have that ability. Because as you said at the beginning, things change, don't they? Programs that you used to know, they, you go back a couple of years later and you don't know where to start almost. Exactly. And I, you know, I've worked in an office you know, my entire career and you don't necessarily get new training programs you know, every time something changes on Microsoft. So mm. you know, again, to, to have this opportunity for a free training course, you know, I think can be beneficial. Oh, for completely it. free? It's absolutely oh, free. Lovely. So Economic Recovery Group funded the first 300 places. And I'm really pleased to say because uptake has been so, so quick on that, that we've actually got additional funding now to extend that out for another 300. Okay. So that's why I'm really keen to talk to you today to make sure people are aware that they can they can access this. Well, this is the bit that you have to have some skills. An email, is it, or a website, or where would, where would you find out more? Okay, well, for, for the purposes of people watching this, mm. um, if you go to www.digitalisleofman.com mm. forward slash first steps, there's a very short form to complete with your details, and then we'll get you enrolled, and you'll get an email back with your username and password, and then you can access the course in your own time. Because ah, you can take your own time on this then, so exactly. it's not within a set limit, you can 
do it every couple of weeks or every one day. Yeah, even longer, you know, yeah. we know how busy life can be. You know, you might start something with every intention of finishing it that week. But, but no, we want this to be useful and accessible and that people can actually do it in their own time. So yes, if people need to take months to do it, that's okay too.